Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nitej and in this short video, I'm going to show you some of the programming shortcuts which we can apply while we are coding in the JavaScript language. It could be possible that you already know about a few of them and if it is, then this video should act as a good refresher to your existing knowledge. Otherwise, feel free to learn and apply these shortcuts to your JavaScript code the next time you are working on it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with these amazing JavaScript programming shortcuts. The first shortcut that I will show you is to check if any JavaScript object exists or not. Suppose that we have an object which is called as my obj and it is simply an empty object with no properties of its own. Now there are several different ways to check if this object exists or not and by existence I simply mean that if this object is not defined or if any value is not assigned to it or if its value is either null or if its value is undefined. In those cases, the object is not defined and it doesn't exist. Otherwise, if this object has a value, then it simply means that this object exists. Now to check if this object is valid or not, what we can do is we can compare it with values like if my obj is not equals to null or if my obj is not equals to undefined. But if we are going this way, then we will have to make a comparison with all of the different invalid values like with undefined and also with null too but there is a better way to check if the object exists or not and that is to simply place the object in the if condition and if the object is valid then this will be evaluated as a true value otherwise it will be evaluated as a false value and it doesn't matter if the object's value is null or if the object's value is undefined the object if it is not initialized or if it is not set with the value of any object literal then it will simply be evaluated to a false value this happens because if the object's value is null then null will be evaluated to a false value the similar case will happen with undefined undefined will also be evaluated to a false value it means that we will not have to place explicit checks with these values and we can simply place the object itself in the if condition and if it is not undefined or if it is not null then it will be evaluated to a true value and we will know that the object is valid and we can use it. For example, if we will log to the console this condition that if my object's evaluation is true then a true will be printed otherwise a false will be printed. Right now the value of this my obj is undefined. For that reason false is being printed in the console. Similar output will be produced with either null or if we haven't set any other value, false will be printed. If any value has been set to this myobj, then true will be printed because it will be evaluated to a true value like this over here. And this is how we can check if an object exists or not. The second shortcut is to check if an array is empty or not. Now consider that we have an array which is called as my array. So right now this array is empty and to check if this array is containing any items or not what we can do is we can simply check if the length properties value of this array is more than zero or not. So if my array dot length is bigger than zero then it will simply mean that this array is not empty but there is a better and a short way to do that. So in JavaScript a zero evaluates to false and a non-zero value evaluates to true. So if the length is zero then it will evaluate to false and if it is not zero then it will evaluate to true. So if the length is more than zero it will simply mean that the array has items and it will simply mean that this entire value over here will be evaluated to a true value. So in short if you want to check if an array has any items in it then you simply have to place the array.length property inside the if condition and it will return you the result if this array contains any values or not. Okay, so now it's time for the third shortcut and that is called as short circuiting. You might have already heard about short circuiting in JavaScript. So short circuiting is when we use logical operators to evaluate expressions in a single line. So suppose that we have two variables. The first one is called as condition and its value is false. The second variable is called as value with the value of five. So what do you think will happen when I will place a statement like this console.log condition and value it will simply mean that if condition is true, then value will be returned. Otherwise, the value of the condition will be returned. Let's now check the output in the console. You can see that the output to the console is false. Now, if I will change the value of this condition from false to true, then the expression will return a different value. And let's now see in the console what the value is being returned. Now, the value which is being returned is 5. This is because in this expression, 
if the left hand side value is being evaluated as a true value then the right hand side value will be returned from this entire expression if this left hand side expression is being evaluated to a false value then the value of this evaluation will be returned and this expression will not be evaluated and then subsequently returned this is essentially called as short circuiting and it is useful in many different scenarios now if you will not be using short circuiting then you will have to write this same piece of code like this so if condition is true then we will log to the console the value of this variable which is 5 so instead of writing this piece of code we just have to write this single line short circuiting can also be used with the or operator in this situation whatever expression is true will be returned so if this left hand side value is true then it will be returned otherwise this right hand side value will be returned if none of them is true then a false will be returned the next shortcut is arrow functions now arrow functions are simple we can use the arrow functions to replace the normal functions suppose that we have a variable which is a function which looks like this my func equals to function now we can replace this entire syntax with an arrow function which will look something like this for example we can use arrow functions when binding to the events and over here we can replace this normal function syntax with the syntax of an arrow function which will look something like this it is easier to read and it is shorter in length the final shortcut that i will talk about in this video is spread operator now spread operator has many uses and i have created an entire video detailing the different ways in which it can be used but for this video i am going to show you a very basic example consider that we have three arrays array 1 2 and 3 with different values now if we want to output a single array to the console by combining all these three arrays then we can do that by using the spread operator so we can use the statement console.log and now to combine these three arrays we can create a new array like this over here first we will simply use the spread operator to add the items of array 1 and that can be done by simply first writing three dots and then we have to write array 1 then place a comma now for array 2 again place three dots now write array 2 and similar thing for the third array three dots and then array 3 and this will create a new array which will contain the items of all these three arrays this is what the final array is looking it contains all the items of the three arrays so if you will replace array 1 and array 2 with each other then you will see that their array items positions will also be replaced which is evident over here 4 5 6 1 2 3 and then 7 8 9 so that was everything that this video has to offer if you have any questions or have anything to say then feel free to use the comments area thank you so much for watching this video if you like it then please place a thumbs up on this video and if you are not already subscribed then you can hit the subscribe button to stay updated with more such videos i am nitej and hopefully i will meet you again in another video till then take care of yourselves and have a great time